I'm about to catch up with a another very long-standing client. They've been with me since 2012, so seven years now. Uh, when I met them, very, very conservative. Only had their home, uh, a loan of I think it's about 250,000, but it was a modest place up on the very north side of Brisbane. And um, they, they talked about that they were just scared to death of investing in anything. They have since, although back then, back then the combined income was about a there's only about a hundred, maybe a hundred and ten thousand combined. Uh, so what we did was we went out and got their very first investment property. That was a huge step for them. Slowly just caught up with them every six months. They went to a second property a few years later. Here we are now, 2019. They've paid the house off. They've started paying down the investment loans and they're in a really strong position. You know, I'm gonna be talking to them today about potentially looking at taking another step personally. They can also look at taking another step or two with their super, which they were very conservative about in the early days. But now that we've got that proven track record over seven years, all of their properties have gone up in value and they are a lot more comfortable. And I remember when I met them, they had uh, you know two sort of young teenage kids and, and now they're grandparents. So, uh, you know, I've, I've been with them that long. We've seen a huge change in their family and, and they've done very, very well. So they're already in a, a pretty strong position, but we can go another step or two further uh, before they retire in the next 10 years. Meeting completed, all went well. They're, they're very happy with their progress. Uh, obviously, house paid off now. We're paying down the investment debt. That's a big step. So we're all really glad to be at that level. We did have a talk about super, you know, because they're another one of these clients that's at $1.5 million portfolio now, but could be at $2.5 million. Uh, there is some reservations there only because uh, Mr. Uh, what are we going to call them? Um, GS, Mr. GS, um, he's, he's, in, he's, he's with a defined benefit and a defined benefit super fund means that the, the super the super fund has basically guaranteed what the fund will be worth when he retires and they usually guarantee a fairly low return you know once you actually factor out what the market could potentially do and employer contributions and inflation blah blah blah, blah they're, they're never as good as they seem uh, some some are better than others of course so uh, we'll put them in touch with our super specialists uh, to really go through that in detail and really work out what that looks like compared to what they could potentially do uh, with property or maybe a mix of both. But all in all, very, very good catch up. Um, you know, it's been a good seven years. They've done well. Uh, I just don't want them to ever think that they could have done more. And you know, that's the big thing. We don't want them to get to the, the next, the end. Ten, year, 10 more years is all they're going to work. I don't want them to get there and think, oh, if only, if only we did this, if only we did that. So a big part of my job is to sort of say, hey, well, let's keep things moving. So we are going to review their interest rates. We are going to be able to chop those down a little bit. And we're also going to review uh, their structure with the bank and see if there's any other improvements we can make.